So lately on this channel, unfortunately, we have been covering the anti-mask hysteria, which is a little soul-crushing, to be honest, because it seems like this is a phenomenon that is unique to the United States. I mean, I'm sure that there are other instances in other countries where every once in a while, there'll occasionally be someone who throws a fit about wearing a mask, but I mean, we're not seeing many viral videos come out of France or the UK of people refusing to wear masks. It's something that is happening almost exclusively in the United States, right? But this mask story, it really is just the tip of the iceberg because collectively as a society, we've just chosen to not take this seriously. And that includes elected officials like Ted Cruz, who was spotted in an airport and subsequently on an airplane not wearing a mask, which is horrible, not just because he's endangering everyone who's around him, but I mean, think of the message that this sends to his supporters. They are mostly evangelical, you know, likely conspiracy theorist people who support him and they take what he says seriously. So if they see him not wearing a mask, they're going to do the same exact thing. But I mean, on top of that, there's a story in Florida of an immunocompromised 17-year-old teenager who died from COVID-19 because her mother was irresponsible enough and knee-deep in QAnon conspiracy theories to take her to a COVID party at their church where there were more than 100 people not wearing masks and then surprise, surprise, she ended up contracting COVID-19 and she died. The mother tried to treat her with hydroxychloroquine, which is the drug that Donald Trump was promoting, and that just made matters worse. And the story is tragic. Like, I don't blame the 17-year-old. You blame the mom for doing this. Now, this young lady was a survivor of cancer. So she was vulnerable. She was immunocompromised. And this is what happens. This is what the mother did. I mean, this is what's happening in the United States. People aren't taking it seriously. And they're celebrating the fact that they're not taking it seriously by going to COVID parties and whatnot. And on top of that, while we're on the subject of Florida, on Sunday, they passed 15,000 new cases in one day with a positivity rate almost 20%. And rather than actually taking precautions and trying to get this under control, uh, Governor Ron DeSantis is taking cues from Donald Trump and he is pressuring schools to open as they surpass 15,000 cases in a single day. That's more than countries, right? Most countries don't have cases this high. This is a record for any state in the country. And he's saying, I'm not going to worry about that, but we're going to open them schools though in fall. I mean, it's, it's shocking, but it's not just elected leaders and individuals who aren't taking this serious. It's the business world because when there's money to be made, they don't care about human lives, profit over people because Disney World is also reopening. Now, obviously, this is a bad idea because this will lead to people dying, but hey, at least they're outside and at least they're going to be requiring people to wear masks. But in places like Windermere, Florida, it gets even dumber, believe it or not. Windermere, Florida is a current COVID-19 hotspot, and there's a restaurant, a grilled cheese bar, who uh, is not just choosing to remain open. I get that because, you know, you need money, you need economic relief uh, when she should be shutting down. But nonetheless, she's choosing to remain open. But not just that, she's not mandating any customers wear masks. This is an indoor restaurant, and she's saying, hey, you can come into my business and not wear a mask. Expose me, expose all the customers. That's perfectly fine. But the story, believe it or not, gets even dumber because anti-mask activists in Windermere, Florida, heard about this restaurant owner choosing to, you know, disobey CDC guidelines, and they chose to encourage people to go there and not wear masks. They literally said, for the first 100 patrons that walk in the door not wearing a mask of this particular restaurant, they're going to buy their meal. They are literally encouraging people to not wear masks. This is unbelievable. And the video uh, from this protest or event, whatever you want to call it, really shows how insane these people are. What we want to see right now are these, po are these police officers to stand down. We want them to stand down right now. Stand down, stand down, stand down, stand down, stand down. It's wrong, it's wrong. Three lately. Are you taking this woman's alcohol license from her today? It's wrong. It's wrong what you're doing. 
This is America. America. This is America. This is America. This is the United States. We are States. not a communist This nation. is not communist China. You do not, man. Unbelievable. Wow. And you know what? I want to second that. Up here. Listen to this. Crappy neighbor. And what about my right if somebody's this? Stay in your you house. You have a right to you stay in your right house. To stay you in have your every house. right to wear a you mask right if you want. Stay. Shut Don't that shut window. Shut that window. You have window. every right. Shut that window. You have window. every right to stay in that house. This is a person in her own home. She is allowed to stay in her home. Nobody is coming into her home telling her, be quiet, honey, you're in, her, you're in your home. No, Shut not. the window, dear. This is, a, woman, this yeah. is a single woman who is, who, who is running this grilled cheese business. This is her dream. And all she is doing is standing up for the rights of people to make their own medical decisions, decisions. okay? And you know what? You want to call me selfish for not wearing a mask? I want to say to you, yes, all the Rachel, people calling me selfish, you're the one who's trying to yeah. force me a medical procedure so they you did. can feel more That's safe. Um, the risks are very, very low. This is a virus that has a 99.6% recovery rate. This is a virus that is very well contained. This is a virus that um, the CDC is removing epidemic status from how I view it is everyone's health care decisions are their own and everyone is responsible for their own health care decisions as Chris said if you are afraid if you are at higher risk feel free to stay home feel free to wear a mask feel free to social distance that is your choice and we respect it we want our choices respected as well I have no problem if anybody wants to wear a mask feels comfortable wearing a mask we fully support that do it if it makes you feel better if it makes you feel safe and healthy then do it but for the rest of us it, we shouldn't be required to we do enough for our health to support our immune system there are studies that show oh thank you sweetie <laughs> there are studies that show um, the detriment on the other side of things to wearing the mask as well so i think the bottom line is that a government is there to protect our rights. They're not there to tell us how to live our life and how to uh, be healthy, basically. I say a prayer for Carrie right now. Father God, I pray for Carrie right now. Yeah, I mean, the video speaks for itself. These people are absolutely uh, shameless and they are proud to be stupid. <laughs> I mean, that's that's what it is. I mean, TJ Kirk, the amazing atheist, made a phenomenal point uh, in a video where he says that basically if Americans today existed during the Black Plague, they would be licking rats all under the guise of like disobeying government and, you know, not standing up to tyranny, something like that. Because this is what we're seeing. Like, this is literally what they're basing their whole argument on. This is about freedom. This is about liberty. And um, they said to a lady who was yelling at them from her uh, window, you have a right to stay in your house. How merciful. So stay in your house while we go spread COVID-19 to everyone. And what they say here is, honestly, it speaks to how stupid they are. They say that the restaurant owner, according to the two ringleaders, this individual and this lady, uh, that the restaurant owner was standing up for the rights of people to make their own medical decisions, except that's not the way that this works during a contagious pandemic. You're not standing up for the rights of people to make their own medical decisions. You are unilaterally choosing to make medical decisions for everyone else by not wearing a mask because you're endangering them, right? If a patient was terminally ill and chose to, you know, uh, stop treatment of something, that would be an individual making their own medical decisions. If somebody wanted to have an abortion, I know they probably wouldn't want to hear that. That would be an individual making their own medical decision. But choosing to not wear a mask, that's not something that just affects one person. You affect everyone around you. If you choose to go in public because by not wearing a mask, you're spreading your germs to everyone else. This isn't about liberty. This is a pandemic and you're stupid. And when I call these people stupid, I'm not just being an asshole. It's science, literally, because as Raw Story reports, lower cognitive ability linked to non-compliance with social distancing guidelines. And as SciPost reports, new research provides evidence that working memory and fluid intelligence are associated with engaging in social distancing in the early stages of the coronavirus pandemic. The new study has been published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. On March 11, 2020, the World Health Organization declared the outbreak of the novel coronavirus SARS-CoV-2 
COVID-2 to be a global pandemic. Governments around the world urged people to follow preventative health measures such as frequent hand washing and physical distancing, but not everyone abided by the safety guidelines. In two studies, the researchers surveyed 850 U.S. residents between March 13th and March 25th, 2020, the first two weeks following the U.S. presidential declaration of a national emergency about the COVID-19 pandemic. In addition to collecting demographic information and assessing social distancing compliance, the surveys included assessments of working memory, personality, mood, and fluid intelligence. Zhang, the author of this study, and his colleagues found that those with better working memory capacity were more likely to indicate that they had followed social distancing guidelines, such as not shaking hands and avoiding social gatherings. Our findings reveal a novel cognitive root of social distancing compliance during the early stage of the COVID-19 pandemic, Zhang said. The researchers also found that higher levels of fluid intelligence and agreeableness were associated with greater social distancing compliance, but the link between working memory and social distancing held even after controlling for these factors and others. So again, when I tell you that these people are stupid, I'm not just being an asshole. It's science. They're literally stupid. They're stupid because, I mean, it doesn't take science, it doesn't take a study, it doesn't take a genius to figure out that if during a global pandemic you are running around not just not wearing a mask but encouraging people to not wear masks, you are fucking stupid. There's no other way to put it. You're a dipshit. If you choose to do this, you are fucking stupid. I don't know what else to say about that. And I try to, you know, give people the benefit of the doubt. I try to take into account factors that might make them think this way. But I'm sorry, there's no time, there's no room for that during a pandemic. Cases in Florida are at a record high and you're doing this? You're encouraging people to not wear masks and you're going to buy them their meals if they don't wear masks? I mean, I don't know what to say about this. Um... Things that happen in America as of late are so shocking that I think that like a hundred years from now, if we're able to survive, humanity will look back at this moment and think this had to be like a joke. It had to be satire. And, you know, what is happening now is indistinguishable from what we saw in the uh, movie Idiocracy, right? That wasn't supposed to be nonfiction. It was supposed to be satirical. But, I mean, we've reached that level of stupidity in the United States where... You know, it's not just that we're choosing to not wear masks, but we're encouraging other people to not wear masks, and in some instances, shaming people who choose to wear masks. Um, so it's it's deeply, deeply depressing to uh, see this, uh, but uh, this is Dunning-Kruger, right? They are super confident and proud of the fact that they are prolonging this virus, and, you know, they're not going to take it seriously, until they get it themselves or know someone who's affected by it. But I mean, at the same time, we can't wait for you all to personally experience COVID-19. We need you to realize that this is a pandemic that has very specific measures that mitigate its spread. And if you don't do that, then uh, we're going to be dealing with this. We're going to be dealing with the mask mandate, which you all hate, and, you know, prolonged closures. So, I mean, it is it is what it is. This isn't surprising. But I mean, what people are choosing to make a political issue, what people are choosing, you know, this hill to die on about masks and basing it off of some vague notion of liberty and freedom. It's just, it's so embarrassing. Everyone in the world is laughing at us and they should be.